Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris at windsound.com. this video, I'm going to show you how to use low latency mode in Logic Studio 9. This helps compensate for any delays or latency that happens during the recording process. And remember, you can always get in contact with me with any questions, comments, or ideas. Chris at windsound.com. All that you need to do is just go over to this button right here, the low latency mode button, and select that. Now the low latency is engaged, that's all you need to do. However, if this button is not on your screen, simply right click or control click at the bottom of your window. This bar is going to pop up, you're going to want to select that. Now right where you see low latency mode, you're going to want to check that box. Once that box is checked, you can close out of this window and enable low latency mode. That's it. Basically what low latency mode does is it compensates for any unwanted delay time, whether it's created by a preamp or whatnot. Any unwanted delay, this is going to compensate for that and make it closer to the actual time that you are playing in. However, one thing to keep in mind is having low latency mode engaged is going to bypass any of the plugins that you want. Any plugin open is just going to be bypassed, so it's going to probably change your sound drastically depending on what plugins you're using. So you should keep that in mind and only use it during record mode, assuming that having bypassed all the plugins is not going to be a huge consequence to you. So if, assuming that's the case, you can engage low latency mode while recording, and then once you have all your material recorded, simply turn off low, la la low latency mode and now you can use your plugins again. You can always get in touch with Chris at Winksound.com and make sure to check out more of his videos including these titles featuring Logic, now available on demand at Winksound.com.